Hey guys and welcome to the lowest recoil build for the M1A. So this is going to be based off the Springfield M1A RSAS that you can get from Mechanic Tier 4. If you want to convert your M1A to an RSAS all you need to do is buy this chassis. So to start off as we're on Mechanic we're going to get ourselves the Ecotech EXPS holographic sight. Then next we're going to go down to Tier 2. We're going to get ourselves the Magpul MBES front and rear sight. Next what we're going to do is head over to Peacekeeper. We're going to need to go to tier 3. We're going to need to get the Lantec Blast mitigation device. As well as the direct thread adapter. Then we need to go to tier 4. And get ourselves the Lantec Dragon 7.62x51 muzzle brake as well as the HK E1 stock. Then we're going to need to go over to Skia. We're going go to go to tier 3, uh, sorry tier 4 and get ourselves the Zenit RK24 grip. Then what we need to do is get ourselves the advanced tube as well as the MOE handguard. So for the MOE handguard the prices do vary quite a decent amount as you can see here they're going for around about the 20k mark but here they're going for 100k plus. Then we need the advanced, uh, advanced receiver extension tubes, needs to be the oxidized version, these are quite cheap at the moment only 49k. Now let's pull it all together. And here we go, this is the lowest recoil build for the M1A. Okay so now we're inside the hideout, my trigger finger isn't the quickest, but here we go from standing. I mean if you control the recoil you could definitely, you could definitely get some headshots. M61, that guy will be dead. Now from crouched. And then tap in. Yeah. So guys, this thing is an absolute beast. You rock M61 with this, everyone's gonna be a dead man. Hopefully you guys find this guy useful. Hopefully this gun will bring you plenty of kills. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.